Okay, using clear gel tacky glue. We're just gonna square it on and uh, brush it out with the brush. And uh, in this particular project, we do not want to see squeeze out because it'll be harder to uh, get to. So we'll uh, squirt the glue on and then brush it out. Make sure it all is an even coat. Okay, that looks like enough glue. Now to uh, put it on the board. I cut this so this would line up perfectly. So I have to position it so it will. Because uh, I can't really go in and sand as good because of the way this is cut out. If I get it right in the right spot right now, then I won't have to worry about it. So we'll let it sit there for a second so it tacks up and then we'll put the clamps on. I'm going to use these smaller clamps, that way it has uh, some clamping pressure but not too much. So it uh, doesn't shift on us because if it does then it won't look very good. So now that we got a couple on there, we can just continue the process throughout the whole thing and we'll be right back with you. Alrighty, that might look like quite a lot of clamps, but believe me, you need them because uh, each little piece, if you have uneven clamping pressure, it will uh, not stay together after a while. So uh, I'm going to let that glue dry and then we'll be right back with you to show you the next step. Alrighty, I'm back here. The clamps are off it and uh, the line is dry. And uh, what I'm going to do now is show you how to uh, make those look better because uh, with the dark paint on one and then the, ba the Baltic birch on the other, it doesn't look right. So what I'm going to do is paint that brown and I don't want to have it like this and then paint like at an angle to the side because I don't want to risk uh, getting this interior brown. So what I'm going to do is just flip it over and then paint the side if I get any brown on this, it'll just sand away and it'll be alright. So now to paint the sides of it. Okay, painting the sides now. So that they evenly match up. Like I said, all this will just get sanded away, so that won't make any difference. And that looks all right so uh, I'm gonna let that paint dry and I'll be back with you to sand off the back and then burn in the back clear coat and then it'll be done alrighty here we are the paints dry as you can see we have uh, pinned all the way around the uh, perimeter on that now what we're going to do is on the back of it we're going to get rid of all this uh, brown paint by just sanding it so I'll show you how to do that all right we're uh, again using this quarter sheet sander and uh, we have 220 on it but to uh, get the paint off a little easier I'm going to exchange that for a 120 just so it's a little coarse and I'll be right back with you alright there we have a fresh uh, it's actually I put 150 on it and uh, it's a lot coarser than 220 so it will get rid of this paint easier so uh, here we go So that should be good enough as you can see I got the majority off. Now I'm going to uh, burn in the usual DCSSW in the back. So 
So there you have the uh, DCSSW and the date burnt in the back. Now I'm going to do a little bit more sanding over top of that. And we'll be ready for the clear coat. <laughs> Same Krylon clear acrylic here. And I'll just spray it down a little bit. That will uh, help the uh, brown on that shine and also it will uh, bring out a little bit of grain on the Baltic birch underneath there and we'll flip it over to the other side and we'll be right back with you for uh, the ending. Hi, I'm Dustin. And I'm Dylan. Thanks for watching this episode of The Lion and uh, we'll see you next time on the Country Scroller. Thanks for watching.